Hello, I am called Lyman and I've got something to tell you. A few months ago, I got involved in a traffic collision. The collision was an eye-opener and made me think. Think. Think out of the box. Please allow me to share with you my thought in life. Some may walk. Others may run. But remember, the Lord gave the tortoise and the horse equivalent number of days to reach Noah's Ark. Your journey might be rough and tough, but you will definitely get to your destination. Hey, Lyman, I see. You're recuperating very fast. That gives hope, even unto the overwhelmed patients. That's true, Dr. Zach. I am glad. I pass by to check on you. Just make sure you take your doses. Soon you'll be out of hospital. Thanks, Doc. See you! Jacob looked at Joseph. He saw a good son. The ten brothers looked at him, saw a useless dreamer. So true. The travelers looked at him, saw a slave. Potiphar looked at Joseph and saw a fine servant. Potiphar's wife. Ha ha ha. Yes, Evans. She looked and saw a potential boyfriend. The prison officers saw in Joseph a prisoner. How wrong were all of them? God looked at Joseph and saw a prime minister, a prime minister of Egypt in waiting. Don't be discouraged by what people see in you. Never underrate the person next to you. Because you never know what the Lord has deposited in that person. Your maid may be a chief executive officer in waiting for a company which shall employ your child. Your garden boy may be a president in waiting. Remember David got the anointing of a king while he was a simple child herding sheep. Esther was a simple orphaned girl, yet she was a queen in waiting. Let's share God's love and make the world a better place to live. It doesn't matter how people see you, it matters how God sees you. God is God. He doesn't care about age, no wonder he blessed Abraham. He doesn't care about experience, no wonder he chose David. He doesn't care about gender, he lifted Esther. He doesn't care about your past, no wonder he called Paul. He doesn't care about your physical appearance, no wonder he chose Zacchaeus, the shortest one. He doesn't care about fluency in speech, he chose Moses. He cares not about your career, no wonder he chose Mary Magdalene, a prostitute. All I know is that my God never changes. He never made a promise he wouldn't keep. He never saw a person he wouldn't help. He never heard the prayer he wouldn't answer. He never found a soul he wouldn't love. He never found a sinner he wouldn't forgive. This is the God I would like to commune with every day, even when I wake up. I strongly recommend him to you. The book of Job 19 verse 25 gives me hope daily. For I know that my Redeemer lives, and that in the end he will stand on the earth. Thank you.